Alright guys, so welcome back to another video on the channel. In this episode, we have a pretty uh, different one for you. Uh, we usually don't really do many PC videos, but this is the PC that we have. It is, like, a custom-built PC, as you can see. There you go. Uh, we call it the Grand Purge. They have Lego Liberty in it uh, from the Purge. And so we're going to be upgrading the graphics cards in today's video and comparing the performance before and after. So we're going to be going from a Radeon RX 580 8GB dual fan model from... Uh, Asus Ares, so we're going to be upgrading from that to the Radeon 5700 XT, which is an absolute beast of a graphics card. So we're going to be seeing what the graphics card performance is like if you spend 160 UK pounds on a graphics card to around 350. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So we are in the settings of Destiny 2. We have just turned all the settings as high as we possibly can. We can't get rid of the frame rate cap though, so it's only running at 60 FPS, but we can't literally, uh, Destiny just aren't letting us change the frame rate cap. But as you can see, the GPU util utilization is pretty much maxing at, at like 90 sometimes. So this is pretty much what you'd usually get if you just uh, didn't have the cap on, but we can't change it off. So. Uh, you get it's 4K60 uh, out of this machine right at the moment. So we're gonna go test Valorant now. We are logging into Valorant at the moment. Um, so we're gonna test out some of the frame per second. Uh, hopefully, we should be getting what we uh, usually get. We usually get around 180 uh, We usually get around 180 FPS to 250 FPS. So we, if we're right, uh, then that's what we should be getting. So hope you guys enjoy this uh, little bit of Valorant gameplay. <laughs> Suck at this game. Alright guys, so as you can see, Valorant is making a consistent around 220 FPS. It's maxed out at 250 and at lowest around 170. So, you know, we're getting some pretty good frame rate. This is on 4K and we've turned all the settings to the max. So we've got anti aliasing on it as well. So for really a pretty mid-range graphics card, this is actually running extremely well. And for everyone, like, a 144Hz monitor, this is actually going to be really fine unless you've got like a 240Hz then you might need to set up your graphics card but if you just want to play Valorant only but this is uh, pretty good and this guy's really annoying because he's shooting while I'm trying to speak you know it's not very, not very respectful this sober is he? anyway um, so we're going to be moving on to CSGO now alright guys so we are in CSGO at the moment it's got some pretty nice music in the background and uh, we are in the video settings so Obviously, this is a pretty powerful machine. We're running 1080p uh, on all highest settings, so we'll see what kind of frame rates we get. Hopefully, we should be able to get like more than uh, like 180 FPS. But I never really played Counter Strike. Um, if you guys uh, want to teach me in the comments how to play, uh, feel free because I need to learn this game because I'm pretty bad, bad at it. But um, I think it wants us to restart it now, so we're gonna restart it. Then we're gonna get into a game and uh, show you guys some of the frame rates. Uh, I may have broke my brother's RGB uh, on his keyboard. Um, I th it's still working, but you know, you just don't get any of that gamers loving RGB anymore. I'm sorry, Isaac. Don't kill me, please. Oh! Okay, good one. <laughs> Alright, guys, so here is the Radeon 5700 XT. We're going to be doing, well, a little unboxing. So, without further ado, let's open the box. So, we this little tab thing at the top. And we're going to uh, pull this out. Oh, I'm so weak. Oh, sorry about knocking me tripod there. Okay, so here we go. We get a little envelope from a MSI. Pretty nice touch right there. What do we get inside? Graphics card, quick users manual, uh, how to upgrade your PC with a new graphics card. So if we ever need that, we'll just put that to one side because I've made the fatal mistake of throwing away the instructions uh, in another video. I needed them um, later. So here it is, guys. So this is... The 5700 XT apparently has zero frozen architecture, so it's higher airflow and stuff like that. But uh, let's open this baby up. Okie dokie, guys. So, here it is. This actually looks seriously nice. Play hard, stay silent, says uh, MSI. And uh, remove before gaming, so... There we go. Sounded pretty satisfying. So yeah, we get dual fans, uh, eight gigabytes of VRAM, and we get this little nice 
cover for the uh, PCIe Gen 4 su supported uh, port. So yeah, we're gonna go put this in the PC right now. So we'll see you guys after. All right guys, so first impressions of the 5700 XT. Uh, you get some a couple display ports, uh, you get three and a HDMI and it feels seriously heavy. This is some really heavy metal. I do have to say, it doesn't look as nice as the RX 580 8GB in my opinion. Uh, it just doesn't look as uh, gamery. And the packaging wasn't as nice either in my opinion because you get an extra box. Like It's like a box inside of a box with some more branding on it. And it's pretty premium packaging from the RX 580 even though it's nearly, well, it's more than twice as cheap. So yeah, but I don't think that's where the uh, 5700 XT is going to lose. I think it's going to win in the performance category by a considerable amount so we'll go test this out right now alright guys so it's time to switch out the graphics card from the Radeon RX 580 8GB to the 5700 XT so we're going to open the uh, well first we're going to get a graphics card which is over here okay that was a bit risky there but we're going to open it up by the way the specs of the Ryzen, Ryzen 3 3100 uh, 16 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes of RAM, so that's just relative, so you'd probably get around this amount of performance if you use the same specs, but I'm going to put in the 5700 XT right now, so I will be under the supervision of my father, so yeah, let's get this baby open and install the new graphics card. Alright guys, so with no help whatsoever, okay, it was a bit of help but, uh, from my dad, but we're going to be putting in the uh, cables and also adding our finishing touch, the uh, signature Lady Liberty and we're going to be putting her right on top of there so she looks pretty snazzy while she's in that little case so, and as you can see there is the uh, 5700 XT installed we're going to boot it up, uh, install some of the drivers if we need any um, run some games and uh, tell you guys what we think of it alright guys so now we are going to um, well just add the screws to the case and uh, close this off and then we'll uh, get with some of the benchmarks and some of the gaming performance so without further ado let's get, uh, let's get right to it alright guys so it's the moment of truth switch on around the back now it's the moment of truth okay it's working I just really want this thing to light up, but I think that we might have to install some drivers before that actually lights up. But uh, yeah guys, so let's turn it on, we'll test out the performance, and we'll get back to you right after this. Right guys, so that install actually went pretty uh, smoothly, as you can see there's the um, the 5700 XT, it's got some RGB and it's also got like the Lady Liberty that we added as an extra touch. And we're just opening up Destiny at the moment, so we're going to go through all the same games with uh, the 5700 XT and tell like the difference between the RX 588 GB and also the 5700 XT. Uh, by the way, guys, if you do end up buying this, uh, we'll leave the link to like box or something. These aren't affiliate links, so I won't get any money from it. But just so you guys actually know, like a good place to buy it from. If you buy it from there, um, you guys get two free games. So it's just something that can help you guys out if you want to buy. So. Uh, we'll get into Destiny and we'll do some of the benchmarks. and also the 5700 XT so in conclusion we found that I don't really think it's worth spending the extra money to go with the RX 580 
a lot of you guys might disagree feel free to uh, comment down below you probably guys are gonna hate on me but uh, I just don't think you're getting the value that um, you should with spending double the price of with the RX uh, 5700 XT so yeah so in Fortnite uh, you do get slightly, high, slightly higher frame rate on the 5700 XT I think it's an extra like shut up <laughs> I think it's around an extra 50 uh, frames per second um, and then also on C uh, not on CSGO, uh, the RX 580 actually outperforms the 5700 XT and so in pretty much GTA 5 in Overwatch and like uh, I can't remember some of the other games but I'll leave like a post from a website that has like benchmarked the two and showed different frame rates so yeah so some of the games we tested didn't really actually show the performance difference uh, because we're pretty new to Steam and we've not really got like a whole library that we can test we only really did free to play games, so uh, we didn't have to put our money down. So yeah, uh, that is pretty much it. So personally, I don't think it's worth spending the extra money. Uh, I think the RX 5 is an absolute amazing card. Um, I think if you're starting off in gaming, this is an absolute, like, just an incredible card. Unless you do like Bitcoin mining or something, but we couldn't even get that to work. So uh, yeah, guys, so that is the comparison. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys want to see more PC content, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay techy, and I'll see you next one. Bye bye!